why Oracle dropped Waveset Lighthouse and went to Oracle Identity Manager, or OIM. Courtesy of IDMChecklist.com from Informatics. When Oracle bought Sun Microsystems in January 2010, it acquired, amongst other assets, the Sun Identity Manager, or SIM suite of products formerly known as Lighthouse, which Sun had in turn acquired from Waveset Technologies in 2003. This created a bit of a dilemma, as the Oracle Identity Manager product was Oracle Identity Management, or OID. Sun Identity Manager, Waveset Lighthouse. Sun Identity Manager, or SIM, was a suite of identity management products designed to automate the process of creating, maintaining, and deleting user accounts across many IT applications and systems. It had a good record of accomplishment and was popular with customers, who deemed it easy to use and configure. Additionally, it had interfaces and connectors for all the popular business applications, such as MS Exchange, PeopleSoft, etc., this simplified the integration and deployment of applications within the IT domain. More importantly, for business customers changing an identity management product, it's not an easy or financially motivating task. They tend to change reluctantly. So, what was Oracle's motivation to drop SIM? The reasons for dropping SIM SIM was renamed by Oracle to be Oracle Waveset. It was placed into sustain and converge mode with Oracle's IDM, deemed to be the strategic identity management and administration product. The reasons behind Oracle's decisions were Oracle IDM had a modern infrastructure, Web 2.0 UI, Beeple workflows. IDM allowed faster application onboarding. OIM does not require application-specific scripts and workflows. IDM was scalable to the Internet. Oracle was looking at identity as a platform. IDM had deeper integration with Siebel and other Oracle apps. IDM was on the roadmap for integration with Oracle Fusion middleware and applications. Oracle had a change of focus from provisioning automation on a small scale within a business to provisioning automation to thousands of applications or the cloud. Bottom line, Oracle dropped support for Oracle WaveSet with the final release being 8.1 and end of support set as December 2014. The reason behind Oracle's decision was not based on bias towards its own products, but because IDM had the better potential to scale to meet the demands of automated provisioning on an internet scale. Additionally, continued support of Oracle WaveSet would have compounded customer confusion as there was no easy upgrade path. Do you think Oracle's decision to drop Oracle Waveset was correct? Let us know your thoughts in the comments box below. And to follow through on the tips introduced in this short article, be sure to download your free copy of the 8-point identity management checklist. You can download a copy of this checklist while it's still available at idmchecklist.com. Thanks so much for stopping by and tuning in today to learn all about why Oracle dropped Waveset Lighthouse and went to Oracle Identity Manager, or OIM.